Hello students, I am Gayatri Miss and today I am going to teach you Moral Science of Class UKG and the topic name is C-H-O-O-S-E choose, T-H-E the, C-O-R-R-E-C-T correct, O-P-T-I-O-N option, choose the correct option. So dear children, in this topic, each and every question, there are two options and you will have to choose correct option. So now the first is W -A E V S H O U L D should T R I M trim O U R our N A I L S nails dash we should trim our nails. Now option A is R E G U L A R L Y regularly. Option B is S O M E T I M E S sometimes we should trim our nails. Regularly, you can see in this picture, this boy is trimming nails regularly. So, this is a good habit. If you will not trim your nails regularly, your nails, it will become big. And when you will eat food, you will eat anything, the, all the germs, it will go inside your stomach and you fall sick. So, dear children, if you want to be healthy in your life, then you should trim your nails regularly. So option A is the correct answer regularly. Now, next is W H E N when W E V M W E T meet S O M E O N E someone I N N T H E the M O R N I N G morning W H E T what S H O U L D should W E V S A Y C when we meet someone in the morning, what should we say? Now, the option A is G W O D M O R N I N G. Good morning. Now, option B is S O R R Y. Sorry. When we should we meet someone in the morning, what should we say? We should say good morning. Understood? In this picture, you can see. There is a girl. She is going to a school in the morning and the she met with a lady. So what she is telling? She is telling good morning. You can see in this picture. So dear children, when we meet someone in the morning, then we should say good morning. But when you, you will hurt someone and you will realize your mistake, that time you should use sorry. But the morning time when you will meet, then you should say good morning. So we will take option A, good morning. Now the next is W E V S H O U L D should C O M P L E T complete O U R our W O R K work dash. We should complete our work. Now option A is L A T E late and option B is O and on T I M E time. We should complete our work dash option A late and option B on time. So, which one is the correct option? Option B on time is the correct option. You can see in this picture, see this boy, what he is doing? He is doing work on time. You know, dear student, we should work, complete our work on time. This is a good habit. So, we will take option B on time. Now, the next is W H I C H which O F of T H E the F O double L O W I N G following I S E S M A D E made B Y by M A N man. Which of the following is made by man? Now, option A is K I T E kite. Now, option B is F L O W E R flower. Which of the following is made by man? You can see this is the picture of kite and this is a picture of flower. You know, dear children, kite is a man made thing because kite is an artificial thing. This is so it is made by man, but the flower is a natural thing, it is made by God, man cannot make the flower. This, this is the natural. It is a 
created by God. So, dear students, which of the following is made by man? Option A, kite. We will tick kite. Now, the next is W H E T what? Do O do? W E V U S E use? T O two C L E N clean? O U R our? H A I R hair? What do we use to clean our hair? Now, option A is paste. P A S T E paste. And option B is shampoo. S H A M P O O shampoo. You can see in this picture, this is a toothpaste and this is shampoo. Now, tell me what do we use to clean our hair? We will use to clean our hair shampoo. Shampoo is the correct answer. We will take option B, shampoo. Now, the next is IT8, ISAs, NOT, not, SAFP, safe, FOR4, CHILDRE and children, TO2, PLAY, play WITH with, SHARP, sharp, PHINGS. things. It is not safe for children to play with sharp thing. Now, option A it is written T R U E true, and option B is written F A L S E false. So, dear children, you will have to tell that this statement is true or false. So, you can see in this picture what this boy is doing. This boy is going to play with all the sharp things. And this man is stopping him. He is telling no. It is very dangerous to play with sharp thing. So, it is not safe. So, this statement is true. We will take option A. True. It is not safe for children to play with sharp thing. Now, the next is W H E N when. S O M E O N E someone H E L P S helps Y O U T O two C R O double S cross T H E the R O A D road Y O U S H O U L D should S A Y C that's when someone helps you to cross the road you should say das. So option A is S O double R Y sorry. Option B is T H A N K Y O U. Thank you. Now you can see in this picture, dear. You can see in this picture there is a small boy. What he is doing? He is helping a old lady. So, dear students, when someone helps you to cross the road, you should say thank you, thank you, sorry, welcome, this or please. These all are the magic words, but we should use these all the magic words according to the situation. In this picture, you can see the boy is helping to that old lady. So, so she old lady will say to that boy, thank you. When someone helps you, then you should use this magic word, thank you. But when someone, anybody, you will hurt to anyone. And you will realize your mistake, then that time you should use sorry. But in this situation, in this picture, you can see the boy is helping to the old lady. So that lady should say to this boy, thank you. T H A N K Y O U. Thank you. Option B is the correct. Now the next is W E V S H O U L D should. T H R O W through G A R B A G garbage I N in P I N bin. We should throw garbage in bin. Option A T R U E true. Now option B F A L S E false. Now tell me, my dear students, which option is the correct? We should throw garbage in bin. This statement is true or false. You can see in this picture. In this picture, you can see this man is throwing garbage on the road. This is not good habit. But in this picture, you can see 
This man is throwing garbage in the bin. So, dear students, we should throw garbage in bin. So, this statement is true. We will take option A, true. Now, the next is H O W how C A N can W E V S H O W show O U R our L O V love T O to G O D God. How can we show our love to God? Now, option A is B Y bar E L A Y I N G playing. Now, B Y bar P R A Y I N G playing. Now, if you can see in this picture, the question is how can we show our love to God? Option A by playing, option B by praying. So, dear children, we can show to our love by praying to God. With the help of prayer, we can talk with the God. We can share all the things with our God. So, dear students, how can we show our love to God? By praying to God. So, we will take option B by praying. Now, the next is W H I C H which O F of E H E the F O L L O W I N G following I S is M A D made B Y by G O D God. Which of the following is made by God? Option A is T R double E tree. Option B is B A double L ball. You can see in this picture. Dear students, now tell me which of the following is made by God? You know, tree is a natural thing. It is made by God but the ball is an artificial thing it is made by man so we will take option a tree tree is a natural thing so the tree is made by god so dear students like this we will complete at home choose the correct option thank you